We have never been more digitally connected, yet being in touch with the world and the people around us has made us more vulnerable to hacks, phishing attacks, data breaches, and identity theft. By 2021, its estimated damages from cybercrime will hit $6 trillion annually. Over 90% of cyber attacks start through email. Clicking on malicious links opens computers and phones to hackers worldwide. Being safe, informed, and secure are your best defenses. If you're not sure of an email, don't click on the link. Don't click on that link. Don't click on the link. Don't click on the link. Please, whatever you do, do not click on the links. So I clicked on this link. <sighs> it turns out it was a phishing attack and my email was spammed with thousands of emails. Phishing attack. I know I've heard of one, but I don't know the exact definition. I just know that it's not a good thing. Phishing attack is when like a hacker of some sort tries to send you an email to get your information from you. Why phishing attacks all of a sudden? And there's two major reasons. One is they're being targeted at the beginning of a school semester. And if you have freshmen coming to your campus, they're not part of this culture of being aware of cyber attacks. The second thing is our smartphones. When you see students coming and going from classes, you see them clicking, checking their email, and it's difficult to know where that's coming from. Where on your desktop, you can kind of hover over the from and know where it's coming from. It's convenient, but it's also dangerous. My biggest worry would be I would have money stolen from me or just my banking information in general. It's a big problem to international students because sometimes language problem, we just, uh, we don't know what that means and uh, we saw a link, we just click it. I've had it before where I get a virus on my computer and I have to either spend a lot of money to get it taken off or for some reason have to buy a new computer. The worst part would be having you to pay ransom um, to be able to unlock your computer. I've seen a lot of people get viruses or get their accounts shut down. I really can't afford that to happen. Okay, what are the dangers of phishing attacks? Well, first of all, if you open an email that's a phishing attack, you've just told the hacker it's a valid email address. The second thing is, if you put your credentials in there, now they have access to all your resources. The third thing that happens, for example, if Microsoft sees that you are put the, your credentials in there, your account will be quarantined. You will be suspended. What does that mean? That means no learning management system. That means no wireless access. That means no network access. So as a student, you don't exist any longer. And that could happen a day or two before it's restored. So when you see these situations as far as phishing attacks, be very careful. And if you ever give your credentials up, change your password and make darn sure that you don't have similar passwords from multiple accounts or your personal information. I think the best ways to keep safe are to secure your password and make sure you're not sharing it with anybody. And Usually change my password every six to ten months and um, don't interact with any pop-ups that I encounter. In the upper left-hand corner of the web browser, there's always the secure logo, so you know it's a secure HTTP site. If I have to update a password, if I, if I get something from Citibank that says, you know, it's time to update your password, rather than follow that link, I will just go to my Citibank account uh, and start from there. And just really trying to make sure I'm not putting out my information um, onto the internet anywhere. I think there are five things that we use to make the campus more aware for cybersecurity. Number one, have a good communications team. Number two, use analytical tools. Number three, use digital and analog tools to communicate. Number four, create a cybersecurity culture on your campus. Number five, target and time your messages. Let's talk about number one, communications team. It's important for your IT staff to have either a one person or a group of people vetting your messages to make sure they're clear, short, and brief. Use an email marketing system that can track when your emails are read, how often, what time of the day, where are people clicking. This will make your messages more accurate and you can plan for better communications down the road. Use digital and analog communications. What I mean by that is don't rely just on sending emails. Use printout communication. Reach out to your constituents. 
Talk to your student government, faculty senate, your administration, staff and students. Have IT go out to your constituents rather than rely on them to coming to you first. Number four, create a cybersecurity culture. And what I mean by that, look for advocates in your institution that help spot for potential phishing attacks, cyber attacks. Let them be the eyes and ears. Number five, target and time your messages. Look when the best time to send out your messages. For example, on Facebook, one o'clock on Thursday is the best time. If you look at Twitter, 12 o'clock on Thursday is the best time. Or Instagram, Monday is the best time. Look at what your constituents are, time your messages to your audience, and the best time that we will read them and open your emails. Far and away, the biggest issue with phishing attacks is it comes down to human intervention. In other words, you're the one clicking on the link. So if you're not sure, don't click. If you're not sure, ask somebody else. Or if you really have questions, just go to your help desk and ask, is this valid, is it not? Don't click if you're not sure. Don't click on the link. Do not click on the link. Don't click on the link. I clicked on it when I was younger and I regretted it. I work at the IT desk. I know all about phishing attacks and what they can do. And I still clicked a link. Don't click on the link. Don't click on the link. Do not click the strange links. Why would I click on the link? I clicked on the link.